So today I have a new product from HITV. It's called the iDroid 8000. This system interface supports both Android and iPhone, but for today's purposes, I will be using an Android setup. This unit was initially adopted by the Americans. Uh, we've tested it, loved the idea, and now we're bringing it to Australia. Um, now, as you can see, it's loading up. Now, the iDroid fully supports all the Android apps, so you can use popular apps on the go, um, such as Facebook and YouTube, just like you would normally using your iPhone. Um, the iDroid comes with a USB dongle that gives you access to the internet through a Wi-Fi connection. If you want to access the internet while you drive, you can replace this with a 3, 3G dongle, which I have done for today's demonstration. I'm using the Vodafone uh, dongle. Um, so this will enable you to use things like navigation with live traffic updates and all the other features you get when having an online connection, although you do not need an internet connection to run the nav. I'll go over some of the features this has. It's got email and all the other apps. So while you're driving, you can easily receive notifications such as new emails and Facebook updates. All you need to do is set up your email or Facebook details and it will synchronize automatically. Um, so there's a little notification bar up here. So it shows you when you receive an email that you've got an email or as you can see connected to Bluetooth. Um, it also has a web browser. So I'll connect my Wi-Fi to show you this. Um, one second, I'll just switch over. So if you go to settings, and you hit Wi-Fi networks and Wi-Fi settings, you can see all, I'll turn wireless on, and you can see all of the wireless networks around you. So for this demonstration, we were using this wireless network, uh, which the password has already been put in. Um, all right, beautiful. So now I'll open up the web browser and I'll go to Google for this demonstration. So I'll type that in. Whoops. Now as you can see, uh, it loads relatively quick, not that slow. Uh, smoothing is, scrolling is really, really smooth, so it doesn't lag. That's because the system has two processes running simultaneously. Uh, one for the multimedia system and one that's dedicated for running the Android system. Got support for reverse cameras um, and also auxiliary ports, USB ports, and a SD card reader. So if you open this tab up here, you can one sec, you can see that inside there's a USB port, an auxiliary port, and an SD card port. You can use that SD, uh, that USB port for to put USBs in there that are loaded up with movies, documents, or if you have an iPod, it's got full iPod support, as we mentioned in the start. Uh, the system is fully compatible with iPhone. You can also use Facebook, so if I click on the app, it takes a second and it logs me in, and it goes straight to the news feed, so you can just scroll through and read whatever you want to read, check your notifications. It also has Bluetooth. Um, as you can see, it's got dialer, contacts, call log, music, um, and settings. It's also got auto answer, auto connect. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, make a call. So I'll just call one of the um, recently called people. I've got Bailey Michael here. So you just double click and the call goes through. Hello? Hey mate, just testing my new head unit. You okay, there? I can hear you clearly. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. All right, I'll let you go, man. No dramas. Take care, mate. Bye. Bye-bye. The other great features that this unit has is the ability to download apps using either the Marketplace or the Google Play app. In this demonstration, we've got the Marketplace. So you can choose whatever app you want, download it, click it. Um, but for this demonstration, I've already downloaded Angry Birds. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. So as you can see, it's also got multitasking, um, and since I was playing Angry Birds before, it's already loaded and ready to go. So I'll just go ahead and choose a level. Now it's really smooth with with graphics and games, and it's it's brilliant. It's a feature which is sure to be popular is internet radio. You can access hundreds of radio stations from across the world and listen to it live from here. So it's in an app called TuneIn Radio. Now you can search by location or local radio 
Um, you can search by song, so you can search for the song that you want and it will find a station that's playing it right now anywhere in the world and by location. So, for example, um, let's go North America, Canada, um, we'll just choose anything, uh, National Networks, and just say Boom FM. Now, it takes a second to, to, to buffer and it starts playing almost immediately. Now there's also a dial on the side here so you can control the volume. Um, and since, since this is the pro version, you can, it also has a recording function so you can go ahead and record your song or whatever you like to record. Now I'll demonstrate the navigation features of the unit. As I mentioned in the intro, you can get live traffic updates and that allows the navigator to automatically calculate the shortest route to avoid the current traffic conditions. The unit comes with a few different apps for navigation. One is Aussie Explorer which is right here um, and that's perfect for off-road. Uh, so for those who do four-wheel driving you can see the trails and small dirt roads. Another app is MetroView Australia which is found right here. It comes preloaded on the device. It has preloaded maps, so in case you don't have an internet connection while you're driving, it will load using its existing data. Basically, you have the normal navigation app, which comes standard on all Android phone, which uses Google Maps while connected to the internet. So here is the live traffic view. Just, yep, so here's live traffic view, uh, which I've mentioned. So if we zoom out, it's currently, it's currently um, 4 p.m., and as you would expect on a Sunday, the roads are quite empty. Some people like using other navigation apps, which is no problem. You can go to the marketplace and find and download it and work on the unit, whatever app you like. I'll go ahead and put a DVD in now. And you put it into the top. So when you put a DVD in there, it automatically loads up. Now if you were halfway through a movie, it does automatically resume from where you left off. Like most of the DVD players we use at home, it takes a minute to read and then we're ready to go. And the system looks really good in the car, nice and flush, sits in perfectly. Not sure if you can see it, but I'll put some pictures at the end of the video. And it does play full screen videos, so and, and DivX as well, so it plays those formats. I haven't tested any other formats such as Blu-ray, um, but here it is. And the movie will continue to play in the background, so if, if I turn it up, I'll just wait for it to skip. So, so if I turn it up and I go back into the menu, the movie will continue to play. So that feature is called uh, rear zone support, which means if you've got GPS, if you've got a GPS um, app running in the background and you've got instructions and you're watching a movie at the same time, every time a GPS instruction comes up, the DVD will pause, it will show you the GPS instruction and then it will go back to DVD. You can disable that in the settings, there's a lot of settings that you can play with. Now, this unit also supports 3G tethering, so if you've got a phone such, an iPhone such as an iPhone or an Android, you can always tether the connection from your phone to the unit, just in case you don't have a USB dongle. Um, the unit also supports rear vision camera. Um, one second. It's got rear vision camera, which it switches to automatically if you have connected. It's got auxiliary and an equalizer as well, so you can change the base the treble and all those sorts kind of things. You also have an amp, you can plug it straight in. It's equipped with RCA ports on the back of the head. If you have a USB, you can plug it in right here into the front USB port. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now before I had a movie playing, um, and as such the USB does support auto resume, so it should. I'll choose video and it should automatically resume to where I was up to in the movie. Yeah, so I was up to 40 minutes in the movie. Also have a voice search um, with this device, so I'll just get out of this. So there's voice search here, so if I go ahead and click that, it'll do a Google search. So if I click it, Lady Gaga. See, it'll, it'll automatically search on the internet for Lady Gaga, so Basically, it'll bring up any articles about Lady Gaga, Wikipedia, websites, and all that stuff. Um, now, it also does have an internal mic, which is somewhere right here, but it does come with an external mic, which is better to use. Also have um, your standard local 
radio station. So there's an app here called Radio. If you click it, uh, for example, we were on Fox before. It it's automatically on Fox. Um, one other feature that it's got is a file explorer. So if you have a USB, like we do, um, there's an app here on the desktop called File Explorer. If you click it, you can it does a data scan and you can go through it and you can do what you want. So if you have photos, you can view photos. If you have apps on there, you can install apps from it. You can do whatever you want from it, pretty much. Just click external USB and it'll go to it. And here's all the stuff. For example, I've got a movie called Amsterdam Heavy. And it'll just, you click it and it just plays a movie from it straight away. Um, and it starts playing. If I go ahead and scroll through it, it's really smooth, really responsive. There's no lag whatsoever. And it's very uh, responsive to the touch as well. It's a really great unit. It's new, just out. No other company has made a unit like this, such as Clarion, Pioneer, JVC or Sony. It'll come eventually, but right now this unit stands alone in the market. There are no limits to what it can do. The unit has amazing features which will make any drive more fun. Receiving notifications, looking at websites, using navigation, watching movies, making phone calls. This unit does it all. It's powered by two powerful A8 Cortex 1GHz processors, which is the same processor used in the iPad 2. It's amazingly quick, responsive, it's just really smooth. HITV is an Australian company. The unit is called the iDroid 8000 and it has full iPhone and iPod support as I mentioned earlier. So that was the iDroid 8000. Thanks for watching this demonstration. Hope you're now excited by this new product as I am. Thanks guys, bye for now.